Hey, David, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Doing well. Thanks for doing this. Uh, what do you What do you want to get? What have you set as your goals for the second season after the kind of season that you had last year? Uh, the goals that I set, you know, just to work harder, uh, focus more on the playbook, and just to recognize defense much quicker than I did last year. How, how well – what did you learn about yourself and about the league going through your freshman season? Uh, at first, I was really unsure if I could play in the Big Ten, but I think after a few games, I kind of really believed in myself and I proved to myself and to others that I, I am able to play in the Big Ten. When did you when did you know that you you belonged in the Big Ten? Was there a game or a moment? Uh, I would have to say after the Maryland game, I think that was one of my good games. I think that's when I finally recognized that uh, I could be an impact player in the Big Ten and for the University. Um, obviously, we all heard about uh, Ron Dale uh, last, over the weekend or a couple days ago. Um, what is your reaction to that? And did you talk to him before he made that announcement? Uh, you know, I'm really happy for him because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to get to play in the NFL. And he's already established the type of player that he is. And for him to do what he needs to do right for his family is a, truly a blessing. Did you talk to him before he made the decision? Did you know that that was coming? Yeah, we talked maybe like a few days before he made the decision that he talked to him. And how would you how how would you evaluate where the um, where the quarterback situation at this point? Uh, all the quarterbacks are doing great throughout the first two days of camp. Uh, I love each one of I love how each one of them pass. You know, still trying to get down the playbook, still trying to get down the right time. And since we had uh, a few months off and we didn't get to really participate in the spring practices, so we're still trying to get time down. And only time will tell who will be the starter for the upcoming season. Thank you. Hi, Hi, David. How you doing? Good. Um, just, uh, I know you've only practiced a couple days, and since Rondell's decision, who, who do you, who do you see, or who has caught your eye right now from a slot receiver standpoint, and uh, you know, stepping into that, stepping into that role, and trying to fill, fill the shoes of Rondell, which is next to impossible, but you got to have somebody play the slot, slot receiver position. Uh, yeah, the two guys we have right now who are probably or could be the possible starters are Jackson Anthem and TJ Sheffield. Uh, both those guys have been performing outstanding in the first two days of camp. Okay, TJ's a guy that was impressive in camp last year, enough where he got on the travel roster for the Nevada game, but just where where, where have you seen him maybe make uh, the most progress in the offseason? You're talking about TJ? TJ, yeah, Sheffield. I think he understands the playbook a lot more than he did last year, and I think he, he's more comfortable being on the field since he actually knows what he's doing. I think once you know what you're doing, then you're more comfortable to go out there and make plays. And you can obviously see that uh, with him on the field right now, like he's not as hesitant as he was the previous year. Um, just kind of update us on your, your shoulder. You had off-season surgery. And just kind of at what point in the off-season did you feel pretty, pretty uh, comfortable with – everything that happened medically? Um, my shoulder was 100% healed. And I think when we came back from break, I was feeling pretty good. You know, I talked to uh, our athletic training staff and Dr. Sneed, the person who operated my surgery, and he just said that if I keep just working in the training room and working with the strength coach, that I'll be fine. And uh, throughout the whole time, I've been doing that. And when the pandemic hit, when the pandemic hit I was doing stuff at home to get properly healed. You're not limited, are, or are you limited at all during training camp? No, I'm not limited. Okay. I just I wanted to ask, just these last four or five months since, you know, things got shut down in the spring to, to when you guys came back, and just how how did you deal with with all that, trying to, you know, go to school, get your workouts in, and just live your life as, as normal as you could, and just kind of, if you could summarize the last four or five months from your standpoint, how that all played out. It was real crazy because that the first time in my life that I really didn't have football in it. You know, a lot of stuff was shut down. But, you know, I would go outside to do what I can. And when my trainer felt comfortable uh, training, he thought it was safe for him to train. He would come to train me. And then I was really with my family most of the time, with my grandparents and my little brother at the house. So 
uh, we built an even better relationship than we had before. All right. Thank you. Okay, um, Gene Hart. Hey, David, uh, real quick, talk about those four true freshman wide receivers. Have, have any of those guys stood out in your mind? I think all of them have. You know, all of them are still trying to learn the playbook, and all of them can be a huge impact for us in this upcoming season. I just think they have to continue to work hard and continue to get into the playbook, and all of the guys have opportunity to play this year. You feel like with Rondell gone, you have to be the man this year on this receiving core? You're the go-to guy? I wouldn't say all that, but, you know, we our receiver core is loaded, so I don't think I have too much pressure on me because I know when I look to the left and the right, I know that I can count on the people that are lined up next to me. Hey, last question, David. Uh, talk about the helmet you guys are wearing. And what it's like, uh, is it like a full face shield? Is it hard to breathe? I mean, well, what's that helmet like you guys are wearing? It's not a full face shield. Like the, where my eyes are at, I'm able to see. But like around the mouth part, we have like a plastic shield. I don't know what it is uh, for real. But it is kind of difficult to breathe. But after a while, you forget that it's even on. Do you have any other equipment changes to help keep you guys safer at all? Stuff you typically didn't do, but you're doing this year equipment wise? I would just wear a mask around the facility when we have to. All right. Thank you, buddy. Bro. Okay. Anything further for David? Hey, David. Appreciate your time. George is